Hi there. Do you have ancient file transfer processes slowing you down? Perhaps you want to magic up a few more hundred, perhaps thousand customers. Or maybe you've just heard about this API thing that could seriously enhance your business and underlying strategy. If so, you've come to the right place. <laughs> So four of Developer TV. I'm your host Dan Young, as you know, and we've got some good news for you. Just when you thought your API prayers weren't being answered, we go and ship one of the highest voted user voice features out there, twisting the very fabric of nature. Sherlock Holmes quotes aside though, let's see what's on the show today. We'll have Brooke, who's going to make like a tree in the latest ecosystem update. We have Adam Back, who's going to talk about um, a huge feature ship 2016. We'll have Regan coming at us from Auckland talking about the latest app called Prino. And we'll have our own CEO, Rod Drury, talking about what he expects from the Zero ecosystem. Take it away, Brooke. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. So today I've got Dev TV in a tree. And I'm here to tell you that last week we announced we have over 700,000 Xero customers. So a big thank you to all of you who have helped us um, grow that fast and, um, and, and to our ecosystem for really helping our customers thrive. So I'm also here to announce our Ecosystem Partner of the Month. So our Ecosystem Partner of the Month for May is... Doo -doo 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 -doo, Quotient. A big congratulations to Quotient. Just looking at your marketplace reviews shows why you deserve to be Ecosystem Partner of the Month. You've got a first class quoting tool and we're really proud to have you in our ecosystem. So big congratulations. If you want to find out more about Quotient, check out our Zero.com blog. I also want to give a big warm welcome to six new ecosystem partners that have come on board this month. Those six partners are Prano, Vegaworks, B2B Gateway, ZoomShift, ProfitSense and Salesforce by Wicado. A big welcome and thanks to you so much for the time you've taken to integrate with Zero. So a big welcome and a big congratulations to Quotient. So later on this episode, you're going to see me interview our founder, Rod Drury. And he's going to give you tips and tricks of how to thrive in our ecosystem and some specific tips for developers looking at building integrations to zero. Thanks, Brooke. Nice update. Certainly not barking up the wrong tree, am I right? Now, at Xero, we give our partners an opportunity to engage us on new features in a tool called User Voice. Quite a popular one. Now, some of those features we want to ship, and some, to be quite honest, we don't. But lately, we shipped one of the highest voted features on that user voice tool called Online Invoice URL. Now, I wish we had Adam Moore to uh, tell us, oh, whoa, 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 hang on a second. It's your lucky day. We have the man here, and this is one I prepared earlier. Damn. So, uh, how's That's your running? Oh, it's going good, mate. Well, yeah. it could be better, but, uh, you know. Absolutely. We're well, looking good, looking trim, Cheers. as usual. And so, um, you know, we're here, we're filming another episode. Glad we ran into you, actually. I understand you've just shipped one of the highest voted features on user voice. Tell us about what that is. Yeah, uh, that's exposing the online invoice URL via the API, which is pretty cool. Nice, sounds pretty fancy. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, so the online invoice URL is basically a link to Xero's online invoice system um, for a particular approved sales invoice. Um, so you can now uh, retrieve that and then send it out to the end customers who can use uh, the online invoicing portal. Why that's cool is uh, they can view uh, PDFs that are attached to the invoice, uh, make comments on the invoice, and most importantly pay the invoice using PayPal or credit card if the uh, org's got that set up. That is important. Paying the invoice, folks, that is important. You don't want to have to be called up by any debt collectors. I don't know if we know anybody who would be doing that. but um, <laughs> Cool. So, um, all right, that's awesome. Great use cases there. Yep. What about um, our add-on partners? Who's going to be most excited about this? Yeah, obviously, sort of, yeah, the, the debt management sort of space, there's a few players uh, there, but otherwise, you know, CRMs or anyone doing sales invoicing, um, trying to, you know, get businesses paid faster, um, that's what it's all about, um, cash flow for small business, so, uh, yeah, encourage people to get on and use it. Anyone who's retrieving PDFs right now, uh, have a look at the invoice URL as well or instead. Love a good PDF, folks. Um, so, that's great. Online invoice, invoice URL, fantastic stuff, Adam. Um, now, I'm keen to know, our developers are keen to know, partners are keen to know, what's coming up for you, what's next, what are you most excited about? Totally excited about Fixed Assets API, um, 
dropping any time now, so maybe even by the time you're watching this, uh, make sure you check out Developer Centre to, uh, to see the latest on fixed assets. Fantastic. Thank you again, Adam. Super excited about what you're doing. Now I'll let you get back off to your running. Good luck for that uh, marathon next week. All right, cool. Back to you, for me. It's me. Okay, cool. I have to say, shipping new features is a great feeling, especially when they're going to thrill your customers. So, well done to the API team. Now we've had a lot of different add-on partners on the show lately, but never have we had an app with hotelier services. So, as you can imagine, there's a hell of a lot of material we could use for this, so let's see what Regan's been up to in his version of iHeart Integrations. Oh, no, of course. Of course. Yes, sir. No, no, no problem at all, sir. Always a delight to talk to you. Thank you. Ah, oh, stupid get. Hey, I'm Regan from the Developer Evangelism team, and today I'm here to talk to you about Prino. Prino is an app for your B&B, hotel or motel, and it's seamlessly integrated with Xero. Excuse me, sir, do you have a room available for this evening? Can you not see that I'm in the middle of something? There's a camera right here. Anyway, Prino and Xero work together to help you with your invoicing. And it also helps to make the management of your hotel or motel much easier. It remembers things about your guests. Look, I, I don't mean to be difficult, but I'm in a bit of a hurry. You're in a hurry. Well, look, I'm in a bloody hurry too. The thousands of people watching are in a bloody hurry. So I will just, not uh, be spoken to. Nah, like. hang on. I'm just going to answer the phone, all right? Mark, hello. Of course, I've got a room for them tonight. Thank you, Mark. Ta-ta. Zero also makes it easier dealing with your agents and managing commissions. What about my room? Your room? Well, oh, I'm terribly sorry, sir, but I've just booked the last room. So, I don't know, perhaps you could, uh, I don't know, sleep in a bivouac? Sleep in your car? Sleep in my car? Are you mad? No, no. Right. no! At Prino, we understand the mountain of administration work hoteliers face each day. As hoteliers ourselves, we have developed an online tool that helps you with the daily tasks of running your property, saving your time. So easy and simple to use, it will eliminate the need to double handle reservation information. Checkouts will become a breeze. Linked with Xero, Prino offers automatic invoicing and reconciliation, but it also manages deposits, agent commissions, and with one click, you can easily split group bookings. In this day and age, offering a good stay is not enough. Prino will help you personalise a guest stay as it creates detailed guest profiles for those returning guests. It's your front desk assistant, helping you to offer the best service tailored to the needs of your guests. Get your time back and create unforgettable stays with Prino. With no fixed contract and a 30-day free trial, try out Prino today. Hey guys. What I love about Prino is the ability to tailor the UX. Like for example, if I turn up to the hotel and I want to order a midnight cheeseburger, I don't want to have to say I don't want any onion with it, okay? So you can imagine what an OMG moment it would be if I didn't have to say anything. Now what you probably don't know is that this camera we're using is extremely heavy and our cameraman is a weakling. So cue jump cut. Welcome back and now I'm walking backwards. So, Unlike Chuck Top and My Little Pony, you can have too much of a good thing, which is why we don't necessarily promote multiple apps with the same purpose. Now, we're about to talk to a man who knows a lot about software development, it's particularly accounting, and he's also run a couple of businesses too. His name, Rod Drury. And he's talking to Brooke about what apps he wants to see in the marketplace. Developers, 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 developers. All right, so that, so that was the Microsoft CEO. What does our CEO, Rod Drury, have to say? I love that video. We're all on developers too, but in a less kind of sweaty way. In terms of, you talked about verticals before. Are there any verticals you want to see us really ramp up in the ecosystem? Any, any new channels that you think are there for um, upcoming add-on partners? Well, I, I mean, there, there is always lots. Um, High volume billing for like um, small ISPs, alarm monitoring companies, that's a really interesting one. And that's going to be very much tied to 
uh, the customer relationship system for that industry. So you're going to know about customers, provisioning customers. They'll have a pretty stable bill each month. That doesn't the whole uh, all of that invoicing doesn't need to be inside zero. The daily um, uh, the daily totals can just be general trees. That's a pretty good example. I think one of the best examples we've seen is in the a New Zealand rural scene. So, um, you know, we've, uh, we came up with a blueprint of how farming software and accounting software should work together um, and worked with a number of the incumbent farm solution providers and saw new companies like Figured come in building to that blueprint and that's just absolutely taken off. So we don't need to be farming experts mm. and then together we're making sure our roadmaps are synced up so we have a full solution for farming. And that vertical is now working really well not just in Australia and New Zealand, but in the US as well. It's really interesting. Yeah, so like you said earlier, in terms of collaborating, building those bundles and really going to market together. Yeah. That's great. And so do you have any other tips or tricks or advice you want to share with any of our developers? Yeah, well, I think the big thing is, um, you know, make sure that you're um, uh, creating the assets that our team know what you do. So big investment we're making with your team this year, Brooke, around mm. getting the add-on marketplace really clear, because one of the number one issues that accountants give us is the... Um, a discovery of apps, they just can't take time. Mm. Uh, so if you can educate us, give us great videos that we can go out and show the channel, that's going to be great. I mean, we've invested a huge amount of money in getting those over 700,000 customers and uh, you know tens of thousands of accounting firms. And um, you know, if people work in our ecosystem, give us good assets that can educate us and then get those out to our channels. Um, you know, that'll be the cheapest way that you'll get customers. And we've got ZeroCon coming up this uh, soon. So ZeroCon South is in Brisbane. We decided we want to put Xerocon New Zealand and Xerocon Australia together. Um, this is the most sophisticated cloud market in the world, so hopefully uh, lots of the add-on partners, if they're not um, exhibiting there, at least mm. come down and see what the scene's like in this part of the world. Yeah, it's definitely important to be at our events, and I'm also really excited about what we're doing and with the marketplace this year. It's going to be, it's going to be awesome. Hey, thank you so much, Rod, for your time today. Great, and, and thanks um, everyone for your support. Yeah, thank you. Thanks a lot, Rod. Great to have you on the show. Perhaps we'll see you again in subsequent episode. Now. Mike's arms are shot, so we're going to end it there, kids. Thanks a lot for joining us. Remember to like, subscribe, and share, and all of that sort of stuff. Remember to send your Ask Zero API questions through to our Twitter handle. And until next time, say hi to your motherboard for me. History tells us that uh, six minutes is the longest people actually stay on the video for. But congratulations for getting to the end. If you want to see more of me, then take a look at our previous episodes and subscribe down below. Cheers! And blah 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 blah.